now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. A guest at the Hilton Hotel in downtown Nashville allegedly woke up early in the morning to find the night manager sucking on his toes. Now, in this incident which took place at the Hilton Hotel in downtown Nashville, 52-year-old David Neal, the night manager of the Hilton Hotel, allegedly cloned a copy of the key of guest Pete Brennan and used it to enter his room and then began sucking on his toes. And as Pete Brennan allegedly woke up to find himself being allegedly assaulted by the night manager, he confronted the night manager who said that he allegedly entered his room because he thought he smelled smoke. However, on seeing this man touching his feet, they had a confrontation and the guest Pete Brennan then contacted police who then arrested uh, David Neal for aggravated burglary and assault. Now the police are seeing this as an isolated incident but when I take a critical examination of the alleged behavior of David Neal it fits the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And it's clear to me that David Neal definitely fits the pattern and profile of behavior that I talk about in, my, in the chapter of The Man Crisis, the sexual deviancy of the beta male. Now, many of these beta males participate in sexual deviancy because they have problems with their natural sexuality. And because these men are ashamed of their natural masculinity and their natural sexuality, what these men do is express their sexuality in a place I call the secret world. Now, in the secret world, this is the place where a beta male feels safe about expressing themselves sexually. And as they learn to express themselves sexually, they do it in an extremely detached way. And because they're doing things in a detached way, they do not learn about respecting the boundaries of other people, and they do not learn how to regard any partner as related to any sexual act they participate in. And this is why David Neal possibly could have been motivated to go out here and put his job as a night manager at risk at the Hilton Hotel, which is considered to be one of the best hotels in Nashville. He put his job at risk because he did not want he did not respect the boundaries as related to the guest Pete Brennan at the hotel. No, when it comes down to the beta male because they live in a rose-colored reality in the secret world, they are completely detached from any people whenever they want to express their sexuality or their sexual urges. So they will go out here and look to go out here and think that they're expressing themselves sexually when, at, when they're actually going out here and doing harm to someone else. And that's what was happening here as related to guest Pete Brennan. This is where David Neal decided to violate the policies of the hotel by making a alleged copy of the key and then go, using that copy of the key to go into the room of Pete Brennan and then going and then touching Pete Brennan and, as I see it, sexually assaulting him. Now, I'm wondering why the Nashville prosecutor did not charge um, David Neal with sexual assault because this basically was a case of sexual assault 
that I believe was perpetrated on the person of Pete Brennan. Because from my years of doing research on these kinds of beta males, they, off, again, this is all part of their sexual deviancy, and this is how beta males express themselves in their deviant sexual way. And because these deviants basically, again, get off on the rush of power they have, by violating the sexual boundaries of the individuals that they perpetrate these sex acts on, this man should have been pro prosecuted with a sex crime. So I'm believing that possibly this was a case of white privilege where they wanted to not charge this man for the se uh, sexual assault that he participated in, and they possibly didn't want to further um, um, put more re re um, felony charges on uh, this man's already lengthy criminal record. Because according to the um, police, they say that David Neal had an extensive crim criminal history with charges of forgery, dr drunk driving, and a manslaughter conviction that he served prison time for and I'm wondering how this man got a job as a night manager at, uh, at this hotel when he clearly has had a record that shows that he isn't qualified to go out here and look out for the safety of others because he has had a record of violating boundaries as related to the law and has gone out here and looked to do harm to people in the past. So. Again, I'm thinking it's another case of white privilege as related to David Neal. And this latest case of um, white privilege has given him a pass. And with that pass, he has gone on to commit yet another felony. And this felony just shows me how much worse this beta male is getting because he has gone out here and gone from manslaughter to now participating in what I believe to be a sex crime because the only reason why this man wanted to go out here and suck on the toes of this of Pete David of Pete Brennan was to again sexually assault this man because beta males again they only express their sexuality in the secret world by participating in secret sex crimes like this and they do this because, not because of sexual pleasure, but they do this because of the rush of power they receive by violating a individual. And that's what this individual was doing, David Neal was doing. He was violating the rights of uh, Pete Brennan by entering, his pers uh, entering that hotel space, a space that he went to go and rest as he was traveling in in Nashville. This man, um, Pete Brennan, only wanted to go to his hotel to go and sleep, and this manager violated the not only the policies of the Hilton Hotel, but he also violated this man's um, right to privacy. He violated him intimately by participating in this deviant sex act, and he humiliated this man. And again, this is the type of se sexual deviant behavior that beta males participate in because their expressions of sex, again, are not about pleasure. They are all about power, and they are all about taking away the power of another human being and humiliating that human being, and they get their gratification from hurting another person. And that's basically what David Neal was looking to do when he broke into the room of Pete Brennan, when he broke into the room with that cloned key, he was looking to participate in a sex crime that he thought he could get away with in the secret world. Because when it comes to beta males like David Neal, they want to go out here and believe that they can keep their worlds separate, that they can go out here and participate in their deviant sexual acts in private, all while keeping their world smooth in public. However, both of those worlds wound up colliding when Pete Brennan, the guest at the hotel, woke up. And when he woke up, that's when David Neal woke up to a reality that took him off the road to having a very good job as the night manager of Nashville's 
best hotel to winding up back on the road to prison. And it's where uh, David Neal will learn all about boundaries inside of the penitentiary if he is convicted, because inside of the penitentiary, this is where David Neal will learn all about boundaries and why they should not be violated, because he will be having his whole life at the penitentiary dictated by the CO, and as they as he is di as his life is dictated by the CO, he will learn all about respecting the boundaries of individuals in the penitentiary's pecking order, and he will learn that people like Bubba, Tiny, Roscoe, Big Dave, Melvin, Rodney, and Mr. Sprinkles do not tolerate people like him doing things like sucking on toes, and they will teach him re the respect as they turn the tight end into a wide receiver, as they trade him for Little Debbie snack cakes, Raymond noodles, peppermint balls, uh, packets of Crystal Light, packets of Taster's Choice coffee, um, off-brand Oreo cookies, off-brand lemon cookies, off-brand duplex cookies, packets of snack pack pudding as as um David Neal learns all about boundaries in the penitentiary for the I believe the uh, fourth or fifth time that he's been in and possibly the lessons here will stick this time because as he's brought into this into this penitentiary he's going to realize that he basically destroyed his last chance at a quality of life because at 52 years old, he had an extremely good job that he had messed up, and he wound up throwing away his freedom because he did not learn how to respect the boundaries of people, and he threw away a perfectly good job and a chance at, at his freedom for the last time, and that is the saddest part about many of these beta males. They don't really think about how these decisions that they participate in in the secret world impact their life in the real world. No, they think they can get away with these kinds of crimes, not understanding that eventually you are going to get caught, and when you get caught, what's going to happen is your entire life is going to be destroyed. And this beta male basically has run out of time and basically run out of chances, but this is par for the course with beta males who are out here. Many of these men do not understand that the, that when you go up, when they're out here, they don't have many opportunities, and many of these men wind up destroying their opportunities as related to rebuilding their lives because these men have real serious issues as related to discipline and self-control due to the dysfunctional way that they are raised. Now, this incident basically, as I see it, is an incident, again, that shows how sexually deviant many of these beta males can be because many of these beta males, when they are out here, again, they don't understand how to control themselves as related to their sexuality, and they don't know how to un understand how to respect people's boundaries as related to their sexuality, and this is why they wind up destroying their, the, not only the lives of the individuals that they victimize, but they also destroy their own lives, and that's how a beta male becomes their own worst enemy. They become their own worst enemy because these individuals wind up going out here and sabotaging themselves, and they sabotage themselves because they just don't believe that they deserve the opportunities that they get. Now, I personally don't believe this man should have never been managing a Hilton hotel with his lengthy record, but his white privilege allowed him an opportunity to get this job, but he showed us all that he is not qualified for this job. And again, when I look at this case as related to what happened to Pete Brennan, the victim in this case, he clearly has an open and shut case for a civil lawsuit because this man basically was somebody who should have failed the background check and Hilton Hotels should have never hired this individual. And he is deserving of all the damages he receives from this lawsuit, if he can get them. Because what happened to Pete Brennan should have never happened to any man. Anybody who goes to a hotel does not go there to be sexually assaulted by hotel staff. And, that, and Pete Brennan has every right to sue for compensation for this um, violation of his privacy. 
he has every right to sue as related to being violated sexually because this was a sexual assault as I see it and he has every right to sue as related to this whole incident because what was happening here was not an investment in men no this was a man in crisis who clearly did not belong in this position no this man was a clear and present danger as related to the hotel's guests because here we have a man with multiple um convictions for forgery drinking and driving and a manslaughter conviction and serve prison time and this man should not have been managing a hotel because he had already violated the trust of people he had violated the boundaries of people and he was violating the safety of people and that was shown with him going out here cloning the key of a guest going into his room to assault him when i look at this whole case as related to this this manager david neal again he should have never been put into this position because he wasn't a man who was ready to manage a hotel at night no he was a clear and present danger because he was a man in crisis now if you want to learn more about what leads to beta males becoming dysfunctional like this you can pick up my book the man crisis on amazon.com in paperback and kindle format you can also find The Man Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can send a donation to my PayPal, my Patreon, or my Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time in paperback, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Men, learn what you need to know in order to protect your job from workplace predators with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available in paperback at online booksellers everywhere.